all of you. Today we will have a brief discussion about glaucoma. Now glaucoma refers to a group of eye diseases that can cause vision loss or even blindness by affecting the optic nerve head largely due to raised intraocular pressure or the eye pressure. Normally the eye pressure is less than 21 millimeters of mercury. Now there are various types of glaucomas, congenital, developmental, pediatric, more commonly the various adult type of glaucomas and even complicated glaucomas or secondary glaucomas. The most common of the adult type is the open angle glaucoma where the drainage system of the eye is open and this has no warning signs, no symptoms at least initially. Other glaucomas may have some amount of eye pain or pressure, some headache, rainbow colored halos, decreased vision, blind spot and some may have even redness and severe pain. So, how do we diagnose a glaucoma? Glaucoma assessment is done by evaluating the angle of the eye where the drainage occurs and then a dilated eye examination of the optic nerve head, its imaging and automated visual field perimetry. All these three are very important for diagnosis of various kinds of glaucoma. Now, most of the things can be found in literature. So, I will be telling you some interesting facts about glaucoma. Now, first, many people ask us, can the use of the mobile increase our intraocular pressure or cause glaucoma? The answer is no. Use of mobile is not directly related to glaucoma, but yes. Extensive use of such visual display units may decrease blinking, create discomfort and dryness of eyes, which may have a very mild indirect effect in intraocular pressure being raised. Then some people say whether fasting can decrease our IOP or increase our IOP. Yes, fasting has a short effect on decrease of intraocular pressure. But once you stop fasting, the pressure goes back to normal. Then can drinking water decrease or increase IOP? We all know that fluids like water are very important hydration elements for the body. But drinking large volume of water in a short period of time can significantly raise the intraocular pressure. So, if you want to drink water, don't drink high volume of water in very short periods of time. Then can ocular massage decrease IOP? Yes, there can be a marginal decrease in intraocular pressure immediately after ocular massage. But then it may go back to normal. Lot of questions are there regarding relationship of intraocular pressure or glaucoma to sleep. Whether lack of sleep causes glaucoma? Again, there is no direct evidence linking insomnia to glaucoma. But yes, when we sleep, even though the aqueous fluid production is decreased, what happens is our drainage system gets marginally blocked due to our lying in the flat position. And there may be a mild increase in the intraocular pressure at night. And lastly, does watching T 
TV affect glaucoma? Here the answer is a clear no. You can watch TV as long as you want. It will not affect your intraocular pressure or glaucoma. So, to conclude, I would say that glaucoma can occur at any age. More commonly, it occurs in the elderly. In fact, it's one of the leading causes of blindness in the elderly. So, screening and checkup of our eyes becomes all the more important in such age groups. Thank you.